All right, and welcome to Season 8. So this season, I'm actually playing a Holy Bolt Paladin. Uh, so I've been doing a little bit of magic flying on him, just to quickly go over the gear. Uh, so it's full Griswold, or ever how in the world do you say that? Just a random, you know, three combat skills amulet. I am max block, so the dex does help. Uh, tear haunches, which gives you vigor. Um, these are just some random ones I found and slammed them. I break the other pair. Uh, 10 FCR ring with resistance. This belt is just to get me over the uh, FHR breakpoint until I get an arch uh, to get that nice plus one there. Another 10 FCR ring. Again, this is just to hit the breakpoint and to give me uh, the resistance. And Mage Fist, again, we're, we're here to hit breakpoints, right? On Switch, I just have teleport charges, uh, so this to me made the biggest difference in the build. I'm not a big fan of Joust. Um, I'll show my stats and skills, but I need to respect. My strength is probably way too high. I think this is probably the most strength I need, so probably 125, I'm probably okay. Uh, looks like 148 is what I need, so pretty over on strength, probably pretty over on dex as well. So that would give me a little bit more life, which would be great. Mana, uh, you can use more, but again, you're going to get that uh, belt that's going to give you, I think it's 5 to 10% increased mana. Charms are just some resistance charms. Um, I probably need to go through these and start figuring that out. Nothing too crazy. I do have one peak home that I self-found. Uh, I have a geese that's the self-found. And then just again, I've got some, some random charms. The mercenary, uh, this is all just self-found stuff that I've slapped on her. I just found this Andes today. Um, just kind of the goal with her is to hit hit the ISS, or the increased attack speed frames. That's really about it. Um, she's there now. The Andes helps a good bit. Uh, so we'll, we'll reevaluate her, but the goal here is to go with Asylum. Um, you'll kind of see... I actually am not using that aura. Um, I need one more level to get it, so I'm just kind of playing around. But yeah, I mean, it, it kind of mercs everything pretty easy. Um, that Holy Bolt damage is really low. We'll get into the skills here in between this, but I don't want to talk your head off for an hour. Uh, try and keep this under five minutes with Chaos Run. Which is really good, really safe farmer. Um, you can go with a spirit, you know, until you get this going. Uh, three Holy Bolt uh, Scepter. There's a room word you can make in it. I think I have it in my stash. Make it show you guys real fast. And this is just really chill. I mean, it's really safe build. Um, always nice when you have a safe build. So we'll go and we'll do chaos real fast. So you'll see I have a teleport staff. And again, I can just teleport all the way to the center pretty easy and because I have that high faster cash rate even my switch uh, it's not really a problem it helps if I wasn't on F10 there but I digress so again just really kind of chill build um, nothing nothing here it's gonna be the world's quickest or anything else but it's safe um, I would run this in hardcore I, I think it's it's really hard to die on it um, I'm really good at dying so I won't say impossible, uh, but again, you know, you can pop, pop full of uh, jubes there and be good to go. I'm not going to kill a lot on this. Again, I don't want to take too much of you guys' time. I'm just kind of showing off this early and, you know, hope to get it a good bit further. There are a little bit of these mobs here, and usually, you know, I kind of go through and kill all this. It's about two minutes a run, two minutes 30. Um, but here, I just kind of wanted to show off a little bit. The yeah, other season, uh, not going the best for me. Um, really, a lot of my friends are playing hardcore. Didn't come back this season, so I really don't have anyone to map with. Uh, jumped into a couple public map games, but haven't found good public groups. And I don't know if it's just the point in the season where you know people are still around with their friends and their friends are still playing, or that you know public maps are just kind of down this season. I, I don't know. Um, so you know, if you've got people that are looking to map. Um, I'm East Coast United States, so I'm what, minus five, minus four, uh, depending on uh, what's going on with daylight savings time. And, you know, always down to kind of run the afternoons and on the weekends. 
I don't don't usually have too much going on unless something pops up at work after hours. But yeah, we'll go over the skills real fast while while we wait. Um, like I said, not a big fan of Joust here. Just kind of maxing these guys. And then put more points in the Holy Shield, hopefully. I uh, need Sanctuary here. And then Cleansing, I grabbed extra. Other than that, I think it's pretty pretty standard build. I think most people will kind of go with something very similar or the same. Um, just kind of playing around, see what works, see what I like. Um, I usually don't like the same thing as everyone else. But yeah, that's kind of it. I'll show off. Uh, kind of want to have for some starter gear hopefully and we'll wrap this up so it's kind of just trash in here that I found I just haven't been through my stash I'm looking for yeah here it goes so I found this very early on um, I was able to make the rune word before I was able actually to use it which was a slight problem uh, did not realize that the required level was 23 uh, but that three holy bowl and gives you the faster cash rate so what you want to do is you want to get to uh, 15 holy bolt and faster cash rate stack at least to 75. Um, you kind of get there pretty easy between uh, this and a spirit. Uh, so I think I probably still have my original spirit maybe somewhere. Uh, yeah. So again, just grab you know a high res spirit. So this was a, a 28 resistance one. Nothing to write home about on the base. Ended up rolling 35 faster cash rate. So that's nice to kind of have around. Um, and then from there, you know, just kind of started building out the set. Uh, I had a plus one skill of this. Um, bought this for a couple of world stone shards. I mean, same with the helm. I think the helm maybe I paid an um for. Um, the shield I bought, you know, for a couple of world stone shards. I got really lucky on this. The guy was the guy was super nice and just sold it to me for some reroll runes. Uh, so that was cool. Uh, the rest of the stuff is all just self found at this point. So I'd like to get a two pally, one all skill uh, amulet here. There's a sick safety craft one um, that's up for like two high runes. So we'll see if that guy ever answers me back. Um, if I can find the faster cash rate, um, I can get rid of these rings and go plus one skill rings. There isn't a weapon that's one all skill. Um, if I had to guess, I'm gonna say two to three high runes. There is an armor for Ulm. There is a helm for Ulm, and there's a shield for one air. Um, there, there's some other ones up for about two for all of that, but none of that's really bad. And then peak homes, uh, an anti charm, and then just kind of round out my resistances, you know, from there. Uh, I think I would be pretty good. But yeah, it's kind of the build. I mean, I've found some decent stuff this season, uh, just not the best rolls on it per se. I'm trying to find some of it right now. I think most of it has gotten sold. Uh, but I found a bear uh, doing my den. So that was super sick. But yeah, guys, hope your season's going well. Uh, as I build this out a little bit more, you know, I'll try and show it off.